Hello, um, let's finish off with uh, finding the limit of these two examples. Uh, so we have the limits as x approaches negative infinity of three x squared all over x plus four. All right, so a rational function, so we can do the same thing. Divide the highest power here, with it. is the x, so you divide by x and then divide the numerator by x as well. So when you do that, what you're going to get is um, you're going to have limits as x approaches negative infinity of, I'll have three x squared, we divide by x, I'll have x over x plus four over x. All right, then I'll have limits as x approaches negative infinity, this x cancels one of this, I have three x up here. This is one plus four over x. Okay, good. So, notice that this is the same as, we're gonna have the limits as x approaches negative infinity of three x. And then the limits as x approaches negative infinity of 1 plus 4 over x. Notice that this is a constant which you can bring out, right? This tree, you can bring it up here. We already found this, that as x approaches negative infinity, x approaches negative infinity as well, right? 3 times negative infinity is negative infinity. So up here, we have negative infinity. Right? This is a constant, so the limit is just 1. As x approaches negative infinity, 4 over x goes to 0. So you have 0 here, and we just have 1. So the limit of this will be negative, negative infinity. Okay? So the limit as x goes to negative infinity of this expression will be negative infinity. Okay. Good. So, Let's now do uh, this one, which is more uh, trickier than this one. So here, notice that you want to find the limit as x goes to negative infinity of square root of x squared plus x minus x. Note, as x goes to negative infinity, this guy will be going to infinity, right? Negative squared will be positive, right? It's positive, and this is bigger than that. So as x gets larger and larger in the negative direction, this should be a positive quantity getting bigger. So if you're going to get infinity, that is for the square root term, minus, as x goes to negative infinity, this also goes to negative infinity, if you like, plus infinity. So if you have infinity and infinity. You can't add them, all right? This is what is called indeterminate as well. It's indeterminate. So you have to do something to the expression to be able to find a limit. And what you do is similar to what we did for um, some of the other examples. You rationalize this before you find a limit. So in the next couple of lines, we're going to try and rationalize this guy before finding the limit as x goes to negative infinity. And then we divide by the power of the denominator as we've done before, okay? So first rationalize. So we can write the square root of x squared plus x minus x. This is the same as, I'm going to have the same thing, minus x, then I'll multiply by the uh, sum, right? Root x squared plus x plus x. And divide, um, let me get a better, better marker, and divide by the same thing here, right? Square root of x squared plus x plus x. So we see that this guy cancels this and this is the same as that. Okay? Good. But now, once again, when you multiply this out, you are going to have what? Square root of this times this, the square root of goes away, so I have x squared plus x. This guy times that is x multiplied by square root of x squared plus x. Negative x times this will be minus x root x squared 
plus x. Negative times that will give you negative. All right, negative x squared, right? All over x squared plus x plus x. Okay. So notice these guys once again will cancel out. I have x squared here, I have negative x squared here. So this also cancels out. And so in the end, if we, are, we have x at the top, all over root x squared plus x plus x. Okay? Good. So now we're going to deal with this guy instead of, instead of that, which is giving us the determinate infinity uh, plus or minus infinity term. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this and then bring this up here. So we have rationalized the expression. And so now we need to find the limit as x goes to negative infinity of x over square root of x squared plus x. OK? Plus x. This is now, this is, if you like, this is a new problem, right? You could, you, could be, you could have been given this instead of that, right? But once you're given this, you rationalize it with this form, and then you can try to find the limit as x goes to infinity. So now this is uh, like a rational function. So you divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of the denominator. The highest power here is x. It's not x squared. Because this is under the square root. Square root of x squared is x. All right? OK, so the highest power is x. So you divide this by x and this by x. So you're going to have, you're going to have limits as x approaches negative infinity. This divided by x will be 1. Then I'll divide this by x. If you like, this is 1 over x squared of x squared plus x. This divided by x is 1. OK? I can take this guy into the square root. If the 1 over x goes into the square root, it becomes 1 over x squared. All right? So this is the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 1 all over square root of, this becomes x squared plus x. 1 over x come in becomes 1 over x squared. Right? Because the square root of x squared is x. So if I take the square root of this, I'll get the x back. All right? And then plus <coughs> plus one. So this is the limit as x goes to negative infinity of one all over. I can simplify this. X squared goes into x squared. I have one. X over x squared is one over x. Right? Plus one. <coughs> okay. So it's now in a very simple, simpler form <coughs> that we can find the limit of each term. The only term with x is this guy. The limit as x goes to negative infinity of this is 0. So this is equal to 0. And so the square root of 1 is 0, right? 1 plus 0 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So you're just going to have 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 2. So in the end, the limit is going to be, OK, I'm going to write this 1 over, this is root 1 plus 0, right? Plus 1 which is 1 over 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2. <clears throat> so the limit as x goes to negative infinity of this expression here is 1 over 2. OK, good. So that will, that will end limit at infinity. I may come out with more examples later on, but not now. All right.